Want to bring in Alex Shea, prospective Brown University student. I know, Alex, you're on the other side of this. You were hoping that the Supreme Court would move in the direction that it did today. Uh, why do you think that this is the right way to move forward on this? Right. Well, I think this is a win for students all across America because we shouldn't be judging students based on their race when we're deciding who gets in, into what schools. I think that um, I, I believe that your previous guest is mistaken in this regard. Because I think that by getting rid of affirmative action, now we look at the individual student and what they've accomplished, and we can look at what barriers they've overcome. But we sh but we view them as an individual first and foremost, as opposed to just viewing them as an, a blob in an amorphous, larger racial group, as opposed to just under this new system, we get to view students for who they are as individuals. And I think that's a much better way to go forward on this topic. You heard Boomi's point there, though, that this now forces students, if they want uh, the school to take into account race in some fashion or form, that they're going to have to now write about this. Right. Well, I, well, I think that fundamentally, right, for most people, race is just it's just a characteristic. It's sort of the way that your body manifests. I think that in some for some students, that does play a role in how they experience the world. But for some students, it doesn't. And I think that allowing them that option to uh, express that in, in an essay, for instance, affords much more freedom because race doesn't affect everybody the same way. And to just have a blanket policy where everybody's race is considered no matter what, I, I don't think that's appropriate because it, it impacts different people in different ways. I find that a lot of these arguments oftentimes in favor of affirmative action are somewhat incongruous because I've heard a lot of people that say like, hey, affirmative action, it's a good way to overcome past discrimination. But in, in my experience I, as an Asian American, I'm not exactly sure how that works for me because it's much more difficult for Asian Americans uh, to gain admittance to schools than for white students, for instance. And I don't think that you'll see in the past any instance of um, Asians discriminating against whites. So for me, that sort of just falls flat. I'm going to Brown next year, and I'm happy that the admissions officers at Brown um, took me for whatever reason. But it does make me feel a little bit uncomfortable knowing that in that admissions office, when they were deciding whether they were going to accept me, reject me, that they might have been considering my race. Because I, I think that that's not something that I can control or that anyone can control. And I think that it's unfair to judge someone based on that when there are really so many better ways to judge students based on their character, based on their accomplishments. Race, it's just, it's just how you're born and you, you can't change it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.